Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to take an existing web page that I have up in Expression Web, which I already have a video produced on how to create this particular web page in Expression Web. But I just want to show one additional way you can animate items within your web page just using a simple uh, online website that basically functions as a code generator and that creates little flash videos for you. And what I'm going to do is actually remove these six images in this particular cell. And just to show you how this is going to work. And we'll just leave our cursor in that particular cell. Because once we go online and we do the um, flick, the photo flick basically, um, we're going to copy the code that the website generates for us. We're going to come back to this particular cell where our cursor is blinking, but we're not going to paste the code obviously. In this particular cell, we're going to go to the code view and uh, paste it in there. So let's go ahead and, and try that. I'm going to go back to design view just for now. And I'm going to launch the internet and I'm going to go to this free website. You sign up for a free account. It's called picturetrail.com and um, quite a few, like I said, you sign up for a free account. It remembers me, that's why I don't have to log in. And you just want to create a flick now. And some of these are rather on the casual, more fun side. Um, but however, there's a few choices there that you can kind of keep it um, more formal looking. So um, we'll click on Create a Flick Now. And it will just show some of my previous flicks I've created um, for my different web pages. And just to show you um, some of them. I've used this one before. Let me just let you preview it. And as you can kind of see, there's kind of a film strip mode going on over here on the left side with all my images. And then they, it plays through a slideshow. But if I want to see a particular image again, I can click and that particular image will come back up on the larger preview. So that's just kind of how it works. And that, you know, has its merit in certain web pages in certain situations. And I can just pause that, exit out. And I thought we would um, just use our Star Wars theme that we've got going on. And so what I want to do is um, create a new flick, which is not a real big um, item here to see, but it says create a flick. And that's what you want to click on. That's what you want to look for to start the process. And some of it's a bit on the um, girly side for lack of a better word with hearts and pink and all that but you can find certain things on here that will work for most presentations now you must remember to scroll down and these four tabs is what's going to help you add your photos customize your flick and save when you save that's when you actually get the code that you're going to need to put into expression web or whatever web design software you're going to use so first of all I'll pick, you know, all these are pretty uh, flashy, so plasma or none, I'll go with those. They have more designs there. They're, they tend to be on the flashy side as well. But for the Star Wars theme, I can use the plasma TV um, skin, is what they're calling it. I don't really need a border for this particular one. Um, I don't really need any of these um, decorations that you can click on and add to it. I will add a little glitter because it is stars, and I will just put a subtle glitter on there. And size, large is fine. Uh, I can add captions if I want to. I don't really need it for this one though. Now backgrounds. Obviously Star Wars, I have a black web page background, so I'm going to stick with black. I have the choice of expanding photos or not to. And 
images can be solid or transparent. Going down some more, flick designs. This is when you get into which kind of transition or shape um, that you want to use. Um, I've used several of these. They've all worked rather well, rather well. Just kind of find the one that works best for your particular application. Um, for the Star Wars one, I'm using the 3D hexagon. And as soon as you click on it, it kind of gives you your your skin that you selected with your glitter and it's just waiting for you to put your photos in. So, how do you get your photos in? Well, you're going to get down, scroll down, and you get back to your tabs again, which is add photos. That's where we need to be. We've done the rest of this. So, click on add photos. And we'll go scroll down again and it has some of my previous photos in here of course but you don't so I'm gonna start it from the beginning on the left side you have you can go back browse back to my computer or other places as you can see um, but my computer I'm going to pull up these images so I'm gonna browse and I'm going to um, find that folder that I've been working on for my expression web tutorials and pull from the same folder that I've been using. Um, I remember these were the these particular images were called episode one, two, three, four, five, and six. I can hold control down and select these with my mouse all at once and just click on open. It puts them in here to just select. Um, you will get an error message coming up pretty soon, at least I always have, but I just work past that. So just go to next and you know it wants to know what do you want to name your album, create a new album. I do want to create a new album and I'll just I'll just say uh, uh, this one I'll just be my YouTube demonstration. And I'll click on upload and you can see the upload progress as it runs through each image. Now this is normally where I do get the error message and I've learned to just work past it and I just say go back to previous page and you may think oh my goodness there's nothing there now. Well actually there is. If you scroll down your images are there and you can drag them to reorder them or whatever. I'm just going to leave them like they are. You can obviously see the part where you can add your captions there as well but just leave these here don't exit out of any of them and um, at this point we'll just um, hit save to get our code because we've already customized the flick and that's when we added the um, skin and the black and the glitter and all that we did that in that tab so now just save and get code it wants to know what you want to name it uh, I'll name my flick um, Star Wars for YouTube so I can keep track and even if you peek down here before I hit the save and get code button uh, you can see there's my skin, there's my glitter, there's my images popping up and revealing themselves on this 3D hexagon that's coming up and I'll just say save and get code and if you see something you forgot to add you can go back and edit the flick from here as well so save and get code now, your code is listed right here, and uh, you can just simply copy posting code. You don't even have to do control C. So just copy posting code, and your dialog button or box opens up that says, you know, do you want this uh, web page to access your clipboard? Well, yes, I do want it to allow the access to my electronic clipboard. So it's got it on there, so I can paste it when I'm ready. So at this point, go back to your Expression Web web page and remember I deleted out those six images because I'm it's the same six images I'm putting back in here that's more animated. So I'm not pasting into this cell. Instead, I just want my cursor in there so I can find the right area in my code page. So let me leave Design View and go to Code View when I go to code view I'm looking for that cursor to be blinking in there and that tells me where to paste at so I'm gonna just find my cursor right there I know it's small but it's blinking I'm gonna right click and select 
paste and that just uh, looks like it changes it dramatically but you've got to remember it's just scrolled from left to right a lot to allow all that uh, code to go in there that you from your from your um, photo flick now it's in the code you can go back to design view you're not going to see much in design view but you do need to save it so control s or hit save save this change you've made you see the spflick.swf file right here notated up here um, you also see the picture trail logo and get your own is right there actually this can be removed just click they're just a graphic and you can hit delete on your keyboard hit click, click 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 it again to get rid of that graphic hit delete on your keyboard and that makes those go away you don't have to advertise it um, and then again save now you won't see the activity and until you actually preview it in browser view so I'm gonna just hit F12 or you can go up here to your little um, preview button I'm gonna hit F12 and just show you how this looks now it takes a second to crank to start up but as you can see it goes through the process of animating those six images and of course the quality of the images does matter but you can get the gist of how this is working and I think you can on some of them you can click on them and have them come up quicker however you've lost your hyperlinks so um, that we had there but again uh, on one of the slides I taught and I believe I taught interactive buttons which we can actually have up here which is a another video okay and that completes how to use picture trail in your web pages thank you